We are rolling. Brilliant. Okay, so this is Mojo. Mm -hmm. Most of you guys will be familiar with where Mojo is. Uh, Mojo is still current. It's staying as is. No plans to change. More than happy with with where we are with, with Mojo currently. Um, what we wanted to do with Mojo was develop a module, which we've been talking about for some time, that really broke the link from the phone being wired or hardwired to Mojo. We wanted to make it a lot more flexible and usable. And there's a lot of products out in the market which are dApps, they have uh, storage, they have user interface, they have many features and facets, and we wanted to kind of incorporate all those, but in the smallest, most unique way that we can. So Poly, you'll see here, um, this SD card slot, USB slot. Uh, these are little lights to tell you status. So carrying on the same form function, it's the same sort of material, so it's a good, solid, nice way to feel. Typical cord build quality as you'd hope. Uh, again, designed and manufactured in England, something we're very proud of. You'll see on the front two locate or on the back two locating pins and two USBs. So locating pin goes into optical and coaxial. One USB is a through point for charge into Mojo, and the other one is the audio feed to go into the Mojo to use the DAC. So literally, the units just slot together like so, and then you get a nice firm, mm -hmm. nice firm connection. Okay, you can, for example. It has an SD card slot in it. So mm -hmm. on that SD card is music. Mm -hmm. Inside Poly is a little Wi-Fi hub. Mm -hmm. You set up your phone when you're on a plane or some such, or out and about. So as you would expect, you literally, personal hotspot, set it up. And your phone is connected to Poly. You select uh, an MPD app. This one's called MPod, which on a phone is free. Yeah and select menu. This is how fast it is. This is something that's really important. There's a three-core processor in Poly. There's a 10-layer circuit PCB board in there. We're using the, the, diff, the, the gap between the tracks is like 3,000th of an inch. This is absolutely top-end engineering that we've incorporated. Um, the performance is, is very important, the speed of performance. So we select here, artist. Now this music here, Mm. is the music that is on the SD card now. So the phone is communicating with Polly. And you want to play this album, this this track, it's now playing. We come back. One of the one of the bugbears of a lot of people is the fact that the products on the marketplace are a bit slow or the youth would say laggy. Mm. And it's very annoying. We don't want it to be laggy, we want it to be absolutely yeah. instant. So that's one way of using uh, using Poly, and on the SD card you can have any resolution that uh, that Mojo can can read. Another function, go in here. So this is my Tidal account. Albums. Here's one I'm playing, the, the latest Agnes Obel album. Airplay. Poly connected. Bang. So I'm now playing my online, offline music from Tidal account straight into Poly. Straight into the mojo. And that's via airplay, is it? Yes. So now you might be at home and you might want to listen to music that's on your lovely 8 terabyte audio file storage device or some such. That's not a problem. You find the app that suits you and works with you. You, uh, For example, one of the apps we use, other apps are available. Uh, I personally use 8 players just because I'm comfortable with it and I know that it, it, it works for me. You can then search the servers at home connect to it and stream music over your network at home. So this is UPMP, isn't it? UPMP. Yeah. So you can have this charging 100% of the time. So you plug in your USB charger into the, the battery section here. Uh, Poly has its own battery. Mojo has its own battery. It has a smart charge system. So you plug your charging point in and it will say, OK, Poly's fully charged, but Mojo isn't. I'm going to charge Mojo. Vice versa and keep trickle charging them. You can have them charging at the same time as playback, no problem at all. It will not affect, constantly, will not affect the performance, audio-wise, nor will it affect the longevity of the battery. So one of the functions we've, we've, we've adapted to it as well, let's say we're 
walking through town mm -hmm. and your Polly is in your man bag because mm -hmm. you're a hip and happening young guy and you've got your headphones on, you would affect your volume here mm -hmm. because that's, ha that's, a, that's a convenient way of using the device. Mm -hmm. What you're using then is a digital volume control within Polly. Okay. Right? If you want critical listening and you're an audiophile, this is not what you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's fine. In the on-screen setup on the web page is a bitstream setting. Mm -hmm. So you click that, it then means that it stops the volume control here, just sends it into line level, into mojo, and you just use the mojo volume. Right. But then you have to be hands-on with it. You then you are then hands-on. Yeah. So it is genuinely an absolutely, uh, it's a, it's a multi-point wireless streaming DLNA, UPnP, MPD, Bluetooth product.